I don't know what you're doing today, but you should catch you a man. So I wanted to go see the photograph last night, and um, this film started off beautifully. They was giving a lot of Love Jones vibes. Like, they was almost forcing the vibe. They were like, nigga, y'all gonna feel these motherfucking vibes. Um, they was hitting you over the head with the soundtrack. They was really trying to recreate, like, that 90s love movie rom-com vibe. They tried it. This film had some solid quotables, man. That one time the dude was like, man. I didn't know how to be with a woman I had to keep up with. I was like, ah! Right out of broke nigga journal. The ah. real did his part adding the comedic relief. It had me chuckling. Had me chuckling. <laughs> real. Lord. Shante Adams, Yolanda Well, and Rob Morgan were acting they ass off in this film. They had the best scenes throughout the whole film. They shut that shit down. Shout out to the um the two little girls that played the little girls. I'm gonna look up y'all names. Good ass job. They was good. Almost everybody was acting their ass off in this film. I hate to say it, man, but it feel like every role I see Issa in, I'm watching Awkward Black Girl. And it's good for if it's a comedy and you jokey jokey, but in a romance, nigga, it's not good. I hate to say it, Cause it hurt the film. I just I couldn't take the that romance seriously. And that was supposed to be like the main romance. But I'm like, man, if you stop making this, you can't make it this, this fake. You know the fake. Keep doing that. The story arc, um, I don't know. I want I want I want to call it weird, but you know, I was just the the supporting or the B story was so much more compelling. Then the main story between Issa and Lakeith, I just cared more. I didn't really care about what the fuck they was doing. This is a decent film. Definitely not a classic. I give it one head nod. 